73,663 dollars. 6,136 products sold. I want to tell you how I was able to make over $70,000 at the age of 18, 19 in literally just a few months from selling t-shirts. This was my first real business that I created and I want to tell you the story because it's just such a cool story. I'm going to tell you everything from what t-shirts I did, what marketing I did, who I advertised to and my best selling t-shirts and you can even go and do this. It's still viable now. I only moved on because I wanted to start an Amazon business but I want to tell you what I did and it's really cool. So before I get started please consider hitting that subscribe button because these videos are only getting better. I'm only doing them every single day, only every single day and I feel like you really like them. This is all part of my 100 day content challenge and if I talk very fast let me know in the comments I'm gonna try and change that because I feel like I talk really fast but anyway I want to show you how I did that and let it all starts when I was 18 years old I was doing a gap year and I came home for a couple of days and my brother showed me this t-shirt this guy called Don Wilson who had a course on on how to sell t-shirts right and I took the course I thought this is really interesting I went back abroad in my gap year and I was watching this course doing a bit of research and I, I came to let me just exit this because this is annoying I came to realization that if I wanted to do this and I wanted to make money on this I wanted to take action straight away so I left my gap year earlier it was meant to be a year I left after six and a half months I came home and I focused all my attention on building this business up. I started, I've got my notes on my creator by the way, so that's where I'm looking. I started with a website called Teespring, right? I used Teespring and I use Facebook, right? And I was advertising on Facebook my Teespring t-shirts. It just blew up really fast. Like it blew up. I wish my YouTube channel would blow up as fast as my t-shirts blew up um, because that would be really cool. The first thing I did was name t-shirts. I don't know if you saw this when it was a trend, but it said like I'm uh, like team. So my name is Shimmy Morris. So it would say like team Morris or something like that, right? It had all this, I'll sh they'll pop up on the screen here. But that is what it looked like. And you were able to advertise on Facebook in a very specific way, targeting people by surname. Now this was, I don't wanna say a hack, but it was, it was a loophole at the time because Facebook had no idea that people were able to do this and they didn't really mind. But then when everyone starts doing it, they stopped it. You were able to download a list of contacts on Facebook with a certain surname, re-upload them as a custom audience, and then advertise them a t-shirt. Now, the reason this did so well is because it, the conversion rates were so high, so high because when you see your own name on a t-shirt, you're going to click it. When you see your own name on anything, you're going to click it. So I made a whole bunch of money from that, but then Facebook went and said, this isn't right. You can't target people by their name. This is a bit too, this is a bit too intimate kind of thing. So they, they stopped that, right? They, 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 they didn't let that happen anymore. And I had to kind of change it up a bit, which I did, right? I changed it up to job t-shirts. And that is still a thing. You can still do that. And I made some really good money, like bartender, electrician, technician, plumber, all these kind of t-shirts. Now you're thinking, who wants to wear a t-shirt with their name or with their job on it? And you'll be surprised, a lot of people actually bought these t-shirts. My most popular one was my bartender t-shirt, right? I think it was like, I'm a bartender, what's your superpower? Just really basic t-shirts like that, right? I went from the name t-shirts to the bartender t-shirts and this all happened really, really quickly. The name t-shirts I was doing for about a month, maybe a month and a half. Half. Then I'd started doing the job t-shirts for about another month and a half. This whole process was probably about four to five months, not even, maybe four months. And then I, after the job t-shirts, I continued doing those and I wanted to try and mix up and I wanted to have one viral t-shirt. So I tried a lot of different things and then I hit my viral t-shirt and it was a Father's Day t-shirt. I released it just before Father's Day in June and I did this twice. So I did this over two years. And I know I said all this money was made in a couple of months and it was the following year that I released it, it didn't do as well as the first year. But at Father's Day, I released a like a Top Dad t-shirt going off the spoof of like Top Gear, but it said Top Dad. And obviously I did all the checks, trademarks, all those kind of things and it was absolutely fine. I didn't want to do anything that I wasn't allowed to be doing. But that t-shirt made a ridiculous amount of money, more than any of my other t-shirts combined. This was crazy because I did all of this at the age of 18 or 19 at this point because I, I started when I was 18 and then I turned 19 in February and I just continued. And it just, it was mental. It was absolutely mental. And you can literally target 
these things to this day and I'll show you, well I'll actually show you now how you can target. Let's go to Facebook ads. I'm gonna show you how you can target by job title or by Father's Day kind of thing, how you can do this. So this is Teespring by the way, so they have a lot more products now. They've got teddies, they've got bags, hats, phone cases. When I did it, they literally just had t-shirts and they were very, very basic t-shirts as well. So. Um, if you see, if you click start designing, you can see they, they make a whole range of things now. Um, like leggings, socks. I might even get back into this. This is so cool. Yeah, they've got a lot of stuff. They've got home stuff, accessories. This is insane. Wow, they've really, this company has grown. I remember when I started, this company was, was kind of new, right? It was kind of new and maybe that's why I did well. Who knows, I got into it really early, but Besides the point, they've got so much more to do it, so you can 100% do it. Oh, I'm on the wrong ads account. This one has been blocked. Um, I'm actually making a video about why my ads account got closed. That's a really interesting video, so you're gonna wanna check that out as well. But let's have a look, create an ad. So in terms of, let's just do traffic. Let's just continue. Right, so if you want to go to audience, okay, you want to do um, create new audience, let's do, right, so you've got suggestions, right, let's browse first, we've got demographics, we've got parents, all parents, parents all, okay, so now let's make it men only, where are genders, here we go, gosh, I feel like I've forgotten how to use Facebook, <laughs> you've got so now it's men, so it's fathers, and now let's narrow the audience a bit and say fathers who like pugs. Okay, we have now got a small audience, pugs, let's add more dogs, add that one. Um, poodle, beagle, chihuahua, golden retriever. Right, we now have a father who likes dogs and we can make this t-shirt just before June. I think Father's Day is Father's Day 2020. Do this in 2020, you will make a mint. 21st of June, so I would launch this maybe in May, right? The first week of May, I would launch this t-shirt. It's a great time to start buying your Father's Day gifts. Okay, so you can do a t-shirt targeting fathers who like dogs and you can have something specific, like a Father's Day thing with like a dog involved and you will make a killing. It's so targeted. You can make it even more targeted than that, but how targeted is that? That you can literally target someone who is a father who likes dogs and you can launch it just before Father's Day. Come on, do I need to convince you of this anymore? So this is literally what I did. I did a bit of research and I went into it and I did it like that and it made so much money, like so much money. So uh, if you wanna get into t-shirts, 100% I recommend you get into t-shirts. I actually think I might get back into it because they've got these cool leggings, which I feel like I can sell. They've got socks that I could sell. They've got so much stuff now, it's so cool. It's so, so cool. They've got shower curtains. It's so much stuff. So I would 100% recommend doing that. This is what I did when I was literally 18, 19. I made a lot of money and it was something like 70,000. Let's have a look and go listings. I haven't done this in a while. Let's just go to all time. Something like, what is it? It's just loading. 73,663. Dollars, six thousand one hundred thirty-six products sold. That is insane. Look how insane that is. That is insane. Come on, you can definitely, definitely do this. And if you want any help doing this, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll make more videos. I could make a whole tutorial video on this if you want me to. But let me know in the comments down below. I'm happy to make a video from the the process of researching creating a t-shirt, advertising it on Facebook, and getting sales like that. And it's just brilliant. And you only you don't have to pay for anything, right? It's crowdsourced, so you only pay for what you sell. So you obviously have to pay for your ads. Yeah? Hello. Hi, thanks. Okay. You obviously have to pay for your ads, obviously that makes sense, but you don't have to pay for the t-shirts up front, so it's a brilliant business model because you don't have you don't have to put your skin in the game in a way, like you don't have to spend thousands on stock of t-shirts when it's crowdsourced, so you only sell them, you only pay for when you sell one. So it's just a genius idea. Let me know in the comments, and if you've heard of Teespring, give this video a like, but let me know in the comments if you want me to make more videos like this, and I'll happily make a full tutorial for you. I'm not gonna 
make a course about this, but happily gives all this information to you for free. Just let me know in the comments if you want it. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was a good video to make. Literally, if I was able to do this at 19, there is no age limit. You can do this at 12, you can do this at 13, you can do this at 15, you can do this at 60. There is no age limit to doing this. You don't have to get on video, you don't have to show yourself. You can literally just be behind a computer, make some cool designs, and these designs can say anything. Look how basic my designs are. Look how basic this design is, right? Uh, it's just really, really basic. And they, of course I'm awesome, I'm a Lance, right? This sold thousands and um, this is it. This is the t-shirt, this is the website. Like they do the whole thing for you. If you wanna buy, you should add to cart. You don't have to, I don't have to pay for any of this. And it's, it's, it's that easy. It's really, really that easy. And I highly recommend doing it. It's, it's also good fun. And if you don't know how to design, there are websites like Fiverr that you can get designs on. There are websites like 99designs. But to be honest, there are so many designs. But let me know in the comments if you want me to make videos about this in more detail and actually give a step-by-step. -step. So thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you in tomorrow's video. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button.